Hey everyone, this is a quick video on how to install the Lang TDC pump into a pump top res combo with a attached heat sink. This example here is with coolants products. However, the steps would be pretty similar uh, regardless of the the brand you go with for the pump or the, the pump top. They're all pretty similar. To begin, uh, remove the four screws from the bottom of the pump. Next, remove the pump from the casing. Next, place the pump into the new casing, making sure that the wires fit the little cutout. Next, install the metal spacers on the corners of the pump. These spacers might be attached to the casing depending on the brand you go with. Next, attach the base of the new casing. Next, uh, make sure the O-ring is seated properly and place the pump top on top of the pump. Next, screw in the four screws. You should use the screws that came with the pump top, not the original screws. Next, if you have a heat sink, apply the thermal pad. If you don't have a heat sink, the, the bottom of the casing will not be open like it is here. Next, use the included screws to screw the heat sink onto the bottom of the pump. The coolant's pump top has this extra metal piece in it to prevent a swirling of the water inside the res. So your pump top may have something similar. Next, install the, the coupling on top of the pump top. This will connect the reservoir to the pump top. Next, make sure your, your O-rings are seated correctly and screw on the reservoir. And then next, screw on the, the cap to the reservoir if your system has one. We'll go ahead and test the uh, we'll test the pump for leaks. So we'll install our our fittings and some tubing. We'll attach the pump to a uh, power supply and add some water. Um, you can look up online how to how to use the power supply with uh, how to short the twenty four pin connector in order to have the power supply run when it's not connected to a motherboard. And with the pump on, we can see the, the water flowing through the, uh, through the system with no leaks. Let that go for a minute or two to make sure that no leaks form from the, from the res and the coupling uh, O-rings. If the system were to leak, it would probably be from those locations. That's about it. Thanks for watching.